So many times we've said not to invest in drone crowdfunders and MicroDrone 4 from Extreme Flyers is a perfect reason as to why. They've just released a new demonstration video and once again, it has failed to impress. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and MicroDrone 4 from Extreme Flyers was launched over 20 months ago with a campaign that raised over $1.75 million. And over 14,000 backers funded this campaign for what looked to be an exciting drone. But just as we've reported in the past, what was shown in that promotional video is far from the reality and even further away from the product that may end up in the hands of the people that backed it. Throughout the life cycle of this campaign, the specifications have changed. The camera now has a far lower megapixel. It's heavier, it's bigger, and at the moment, it doesn't seem to have any intelligent flight features as committed as part of the campaign. If you want to know a bit more about the history of this campaign, do see our other micro drone video, which is linked in the video description below. But in the meantime, let's get straight to this new video that appeared today. The backers have been begging to see onboard video, an element that's been omitted from most of the demonstration videos so far. And when one did appear not long ago, it was featured on our video, which consequently triggered a BBC News article, whereby via their own analysis, they agreed that this drone didn't look to be what it was said to be in the promotional video. Far from it, in fact. And that was their own independent analysis by one of their senior technical correspondents. After applying a lot of pressure from here and also Sean over at Geeks Varna, Vernon, the CEO, has finally put out a video today showing a demonstration, which did initially get the backers a little bit excited until they saw it. To their disappointment, this three minute video just shows a dodgy budget drone bouncing around in a forest, almost crashing into the floor on occasion because it clearly can't hold its altitude properly, which is a fundamental flaw of an autonomous drone, which as a minimum should be able to at least hold its altitude when somebody's flying it. But in this example video, as you can see every time the drone transitions into forward flight and then changes direction, it loses altitude, which suggests two things. First of all, the flight controller and the barometer are not working as they should be. Secondly, the drone is potentially underpowered. And that's why as it transitions to a different directional flight, it drops in altitude and almost hits the floor a few times during the demonstration video. Quite honestly, that video did not show off any exciting capabilities. In fact, we reviewed Banggood $30 drones three years ago that were capable of far more than was demonstrated in that video. Specifically one that had optical flow just as this drone does, and it could hold its position beautifully as we test flew it around. In addition, during this testing, the drone was flown within meters of members of the public, including a young child, contrary to the CAA drone regulations, that the drone shouldn't have been flown within 50 meters of people not in control of the operator. In other words, the operator clearly didn't know these people, and therefore it shouldn't have been flown so close to them. The backers reacted angrily, and multiple comments on the video expressed dissatisfaction and anger that this project is now running over 16 months late from the guaranteed delivery that was promoted at the launch of the campaign, and that this video does nothing but show that it's a product that they don't want. In addition, backers also took to the Indiegogo comments page to express their dissatisfaction, but regardless of all of this, the CEO is utterly delusional and posts a comment on the page to say that he's really impressed with the response from people. He even uses the word positive. To date, the video has 77 dislikes and just a mere 25 likes. That kind of proportional dislike-like ratio on a video speaks volumes. This product is now irrelevant. It's so out of date and incapable, plus the specifications have changed so substantially since that promotional video that the backers just simply don't want it. And also given the current financial hardship brought on by the pandemic ongoing around the world, backers have been pleading for a refund. The requests have been declined by the CEO. Now the terms of an Indiegogo campaign state that the backers are entitled to a refund up until the point at which the product transitions to be production. Now the CEO states that this product is now in production, which we believe he has done simply to stop backers from obtaining a refund. The very fact that this product can't be demoed in its entirety shows that this product is not production ready, in addition to the fact that the CEO even comments himself that the defect rate was too high in this latest production batch, 
and therefore they believe that the project will be even further delayed. That's coupled with the fact that it's already delayed 16 months. This product clearly is not production ready, it's still at the prototype and design stage and therefore backers should be entitled to a full refund. But quite honestly, Indiegogo and their CEO Andy Yang honestly do not seem to care and at this time they've made absolutely no effort to step in and protect their backers on the platform which is just appalling. Numerous backers have raised legal claims, not only those based in the UK because Extreme Flyers are a UK based company, but also those outside of the UK by using the fact that anybody with a friend or a relation with a UK address can raise a claim via the UK court system. Many have already succeeded by gaining a full refund plus costs on the basis that Vernon has actually pushed to settle out of court showing that this CEO really does not want his day in court, probably on the knowledge that he will lose and end up being struck off as a director of a company. Now, while we're very happy to see backers getting their money back, it is a shame that this CEO is not yet in court, although we believe that day will be coming very, very soon. The CEO has even been bullying and lying to backers by claiming that if they're not based in the UK, they can't raise a legal claim. In fact, he responded to one of those backers who said, I will pursue my claim, bad decision. Good luck, highly unprofessional for a CEO. And that just reflects the kind of character that they're dealing with here. There is a simple moral for this story here. We've said it many times, don't invest in crowdfund drones because there is simply no advantage in being first. And to this date, there really has not been a successful drone crowdfund story. We all remember Zano and Lily, Pocket Drone and Anagafly. Save your hard earned money, invest in products that are already on the shelf or products that are backed and funded by big organizations, not toy drone manufacturers that struggle to produce a drone that can even fly. Comment below with your thoughts about this video. By the way, the new studio is almost coming together and this is the first look at potentially how the videos will look in the future. So do comment on that as well. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like the new studio. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.